Till now we have seen this uh, sensory bite, oral tube and hickey. Later on we have to start with the tongue steer which is very important for the tongue lifting, tongue uh, holding and uh, there are the different function which I'm going to explain you. It's look like a steer and uh, you can uh, use for the lifting of tongue. Suppose this is your tongue and this is the fixation part. You have to just fix like this for lifting up. So now what you have to do it? You have to just pull, uh, ask the child to open their mouth. Just your mouth open karte hai. Aapko iske jo uh, tongue ki jo lateral side hai, jo iske blade side hai, usko aapko is tarikhe se use karna hai. Uh, So to fix it again. And you can do the internal exercise as well. So tongue steer is very important uh, to teach in case of the misarticulation when the child is having the problem with the production of sounds like uh, if the child is not able to produce l sound or l sounds or any other sound which is re related with the labiodental. So you can use as a uh, stimulator what you have to do it, you have to just put like this and then la, 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 la. So you can just set a target. Initially, just set the target like this. La. Ask the child to touch the tongue steel and then say la, la, la. And then from now, I'm doing the transition from la to la, which is the very, very easy with the help of tongue steel. So what you have to do it, you have to just use like this. La, la, la. Ra, 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 ra. So gradually I'm going inside and I'm restricting the uh, restricting the uh, moment of tongue. And after uh, restriction of this tongue, that should not come forward. So we can able to produce the sound ra, which is very very difficult for the child to produce. So with the help of the tongue state, we can develop very easily without any difficulties. So after tongue state. We do have a two different tools. We have a TTUD and TTLR. So this is TTUD. So UD means up and down. And this is a very, very important uh, to teach a child to produce sounds like labiodental. L, the, 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 the can be easily able to produce with the help of TTUD. So up and down, what we have to do it, we have a two grooves here. This is the upper groove and the lower grooves. You have to fix this grooves inside uh, or like or the both upper and the lower teeth like this and then here when conditioning is happening we call it as operant conditioning so once the child accidentally lift the, uh, this ball then child love the sound of this ball and they'll start playing again and again with it and they can learn after a few to uh, four uh, for four to five repetition so TTUD is a very useful for lifting a tongue what you have to do it again I'm going to show you इसको इस तरीके से पकड़ना है आपको इस तरीके से रख के एंड देन इसको आप दो तरीके से यूज कर सकते हैं फर्स्ट यू टू सेट अ गोल दैट चाइल्ड शुड होल्ड इट फॉर अ सम ड्यूरेशन लाइक एज अ फिक्स इंटरवल एंड वेरिएबल इंटरवल एंड देन फिक्स रेशियो एंड अ वेरिएबल रेशियो सो व्हाट यू हैव टू डू इट यू जस्ट आस्क द चाइल्ड टू होल्ड इट फॉर 15 सेकंड्स then 30 second, then 45 second, and then one minute like this. Or you can just ask, so you can set the goal to just lift uh, this ball for 15 times like this. Like this. So TTUD is a very useful for tongue elevation, which is a very difficult task for the child. So we can use this. It is not necessary, it is not bound with only the child, but in case of a dysarthia, when they have a very limited tongue strength and range, so we can uh, develop the range and the strength with the help of this TTUD. That's up and down. So we do have another tools that we call as a TTLR. LR is the left and right.
So what happens when the child is able to lift the tongue, but if the child, they are not able to do the uh, lateralization? Lateralization means the movement of the tongue from left to right and right to left, like this. So this is the traditional lateralization we used to us. But when the child is not able to do it, so with the help of TTLR, uh, we can do it very easily. You have to just hold it up 90 degree in front of the upper lip and then you have to just hold like this. And gradually you have to change the direction of it. So this way we can use with the lateralization which is the very difficult task without the stools but with the help of the stools is a very very easy so I can perform anytime anywhere wherever I want to teach the child that is very easy for me to teach them as well as like you know if the child is not able to uh, st uh, stick out that tongue so what that what you do in this time you just do with the internally this way. So this is the way how TTLR is work. So this is the very, very important, this TTUD and TTLR is a basically for the elevation and for the lateralization. This plays a very, very important role. And because if you have a very restricted tongue movement, like especially with the elevation and lateralization, so child may or may not be able to produce all consonant correctly, or uh, this of production of uh, liquids like R and L would be very difficult with the help of, uh, without the tongue lateralization and elevation. So this is a very, very important thing which you should